Hello and welcome to the end of day number 29 and we're in a slightly different place today. You're actually sat on the table in my little nerd cave area. Uh, just because I figure if I'm going to be uploading the video from my phone anyway with the sound recording I might as well just sit you somewhere where I can look at you comfortably and you know sort of get on with things. So uh, as you can see from uh, how, the, how the room goes there uh, my little nerd cave area is not very wide at all. Uh, it's just wide enough for an Ikea table. It's about 120, 140 centimeters wide, I think. And there's a, a tiny little gap on either side for running cables down. Um, it is quite long though. So uh, I've got <laughs> basically about just where that entryway is. I've got from next to that entryway all the way back here. I've kind of worked with what I've got. I've, I've got a corridor that goes nowhere, essentially. Day number 29. Everything's been going okay. Uh, last night was, uh, basically I went over to my friend Tim's house. Uh, me, him, and my other friend Jason uh, played some board games. We played uh, we played Bios Genesis. Or, uh, or Bios Genesis, it might be called. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm going to put a picture of the box art in. Uh, but yeah, like we played that for a couple of hours. Uh, had my food. Um, I yeah, it was it was a nice night. I did really massively overeat on the uh, on the pistachios though. I mean they they were roasted without any oil or fat or anything. They didn't have salt in them or added afterwards. Uh, I should say, but yeah, I, I I did really go like overboard on the pistachios. So, I don't know if that caused it, but this morning when I woke up, I, I had like massive stomach pains, like right across the top of the stomach, just underneath the uh, just underneath the sternum. It wasn't very pleasant. It took me ages to get rid of that. Uh, I just I couldn't face food while I was, was experiencing it. But then it, it started getting worse throughout the day. So when I finally did eat something, I ate uh, I ate the potatoes that you can see here, um, and that took the edge off a little bit. Which was okay, I drank a lot of water as well, just in case I was dehydrated or something, and it, it wasn't really getting any better, and Saguta said, oh well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna order some pizza in, I, I, you know, like, do you want something as well? I said, right, okay, vegan pizza, off we go. Found one, ordered one, and while it was actually coming, uh, Rowan had finished his lunch, so I took him, and we both laid down, and I ended up going to sleep for another, like, another hour or something, maybe another two hours. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I, I just, all, all morning I was just cold and felt awful and tired, even though I'd had more sleep last night than I've had for quite a while. So, <laughs> Rowan's chasing the cat and then the cat's chasing Rowan. So, <laughs> yeah, um, so I end up having an extra little nap. Uh, Woke up, reheated my pizza, uh, sat down, demolished the entire thing. I, I don't know what was going on. I, I just needed as much food as I could get in me at that point. Uh, I did put a uh, shiracha all over it and it was really nice. It, it, was, it was really good. It was just vegetables. I don't know whether or not there was even any cheese on it, like vegan cheese or anything. Um, but yeah, the, the, like a whole meal base. It was, it was pretty good. Uh, at this point, I have no idea what I'm having for dinner tonight.
Um, I suppose we'll figure something out a little bit later. I've not the greatest or strictest of days. I said that we would start talking about hobbies and skills that have been developed and all that sort of thing because you know i'm no one's a one trick pony are they everyone's got these little things that they've tried or have you know sort of been working at for years and years and years and i figure you know maybe it's maybe it's a nice thing to just sort of put things out there probably the hobby that i've had longest and enjoyed the most and actually used to try and make money on occasion is painting and uh, and like little bits of sculpting and that sort of thing and for the most part it is uh warhammer and tabletop games miniatures that i've painted uh, as you can see here there's a couple of pictures going by currently on the screen of things that i've painted across the years of various different quality levels some of the photography is not great uh, i've never been particularly good at photography um or uh, or sound quality or anything like that like you know my my skills have been in holding a paintbrush and not much else really <laughs> but yeah this is this is what i do in my downtime not as often as i would probably like just because you know i've got rowan now and trying to do anything involving fiddly tiny little things with the cat and the boy is pretty difficult um you know they they tend to get into everything there's been a couple of times where I've, I've ended up finding the cat running around with uh with stuff in his mouth that uh you know tiny little toy soldiers and uh, board game pieces and all that sort of thing i've painted a few of my board games as well uh i did the uh did the thunderbirds board game and uh, i've painted all of the miniatures that come with uh come with come award um I've got a couple of others on the back burner that I want to do. Uh, there's uh, there's also a couple of games I really want to do some... Uh, I, I want to learn how to use laser cutter software. And, uh, you know, sort of make boxes or box organizers for the games. Uh, card shoes for card games and that sort of thing. And then just sort of really embellish them, make them look awesome I, I i've got a design in mind for uh, uh epic spell wars of the battle wizards uh to have a giant card shoe um that is contained within a uh, sort of uh, spell book uh you know leather bound and all that sort of thing but then when you open it it's uh it, it's got the giant card shoe in that's got all of the uh, all of the cards in um there's uh, there's like a little treasure chest where all of the treasures are kept all of the treasure cards there's uh, there's a little uh, a little gravestone where you keep all of the uh, all of the rest in peace cards lots of little bits and bobs that i think will really enhance a board game experience and make people say wow this is amazing even before you even start playing the game. Because when I find a game that I'm into, I'm, I'm into that game. And I don't know, it, it's just nice sort of taking that forward and letting other people experience that as well, you know? Which is why I spent a lot of time doing the, uh, doing the Thunderbirds board game and still to this day have loads more things that I need to do uh, to, uh, to finish it off. So yeah, that's that's that it's a very nerdy hobby it's not exactly you know gonna win me painting competitions or anything there's always someone better than you at whatever you're trying to do that's uh, that's the first of many hobbies and skills that have been developed over a long period of time right thank you very much for joining me i'm gonna go and edit everything together upload stuff and yeah i'll uh, i'll see you all later have a good bye bye